Hello everyone! Welcome to BC Lagota Ramaniola. I'm happy you are back to watch my videos. This is Mango. Mango will be our little model today. I took little clips uh, of him right after the groom so you can see what the end result will be. This video is intended for people that never used clippers before but wish to learn to groom their dogs. I realize how scary it may be as I was in your place some time ago and it looked terrifying to me. I was fortunate enough to have a son that is a professional dog groomer and he could teach me a few things. The hardest part was to overcome fear. Clipping dogs is not as difficult as may appear from the first sight. So as you're watching my dogs, you probably notice the other dogs have longer hair. They were super short, just like Mango right now, exactly four weeks ago. So the coat grows super fast. It's about one centimeter a month. Some dogs grow um, a coat uh, faster than others. It uh, You would have to um, see um, by your own dog. Such a pretty boy. And this is Mango, how he looks just before the groom. He is not washed here. He hasn't been um, shaved for four months. He is not brushed at all. You see the coat is about four centimeters long or maybe a little bit longer. The coat doesn't grow at the same, same length uh, on every part of the body. That's why it's really not necessary to measure. It's just long and it's not very practical for um, our farm as it is spring and dogs um, go in a creek to swim and then dig and then seed grass and other dirt get into the longer coat and the longer coat the more stuff they can collect in there and grow grass if you let it go before the groom i wash the dogs i don't always do it but i highly recommend you do it the reason I would recommend to do it is because a dirty coat will dull your blades. And um, also um, with um, shaving a clean coat, you can shave more evenly. If you shave a dirty coat, um, the, the hair uh, pattern will be different for every part of the body. When you sh um, wash your dog and then blow dry the dog, it lifts up the hair from the skin and the shaving goes much easier. I don't always do it because I don't really care how long um, um, the hair will be left behind after I shave the dog. And um, yes, it is uh, a little bit uneven, but you can hardly see it on Lagoto. Lagoto coat is very given. Um, in terms of uh, you can cut it different lengths and it will curl up and you will not notice that it's a uh, different lengths um, here or there if there is some stickies you can also um, snip it with scissors later on so mango is all washed here you can see I force blow him and um, we're gonna brush him up while he's still wet I never use force blower until I have um, um, dry coat I brush my dogs when they are slightly wet because this way um, you prevent formation of the mats I find that um, brushing um, dry coat will promote mat formation and mango doesn't mat normally at all and as you see, he hasn't been brushed for four months and he does not have any mats. It's, he is very easily brushed. I already have similar video. It's called um, Easy Combo Groom, where I shaved a dog um, and she was still dirty. You can see the difference um, 
so I shaved her while she was still dirty. Then I gave her a bath and I scissored the legs. With mango, it will be a little bit different. So what I'm going to do, you can see now that I um, hold the hair closer to the cheek. It was um, some tangles in there. So I don't pull the hair right off his head. Um, and then um, I brush um, and untangle the curls. But the mats he doesn't have. You can see that um, the coat is completely clean. There is nothing um, matted in there. But yes, um, the other video called Easy Combo Groom, you can go and look at it. Um, it will be much shorter because the video is on high speed. And um, you can see how I've done that dog. That dog was laying down practically all the time on the table. And I decided to make this video a little bit different. And Mango will be standing for us, which is highly unusual for us because I usually groom my dogs um, while they are laying down on the table. But Mango was kind enough for me to stand. I also had some comments in other videos um, regarding brushing. I do not brush my dogs with the brush. Um, only I use comb. And the reason for that, brushes uh, will fluff up the coat on top, but they will do nothing to reach to the skin and lift the coat up off the skin. The mats, if mats created, they created closer to the skin and the brush will not do anything. But Mingo here doesn't have mats and still I like to use comb and um, go through the whole coat and see if he um, have any uh, tangles uh, closer to the skin, but he doesn't. I cannot use clippers on wet coat but uh, while he's still wet, um, I can um, scissor his head, not whole head, but I will open up his eyes so you can see his eyes during the groom and he can see too because I brushed the hair over his eyes and he can't really see. You can do the same thing to your dog if you can see the eyes, you can clean up around the eyes and that's how I do it. So while he's still wet, um, I will scissor his legs, I will um, clip um, between the toes um, and uh, I'll wait until he is fully dry and then we will start clipping. You see how I lift the hair on the muzzle and clip it sort of upwards and sometimes I see um, uh, Lagotto clipped differently if you brush the hair down and clip all in the same line so the, this, this way the muzzle won't be layered. If you feather it up like that and clip, um, cut it with uh, scissors like in layers, then you will have a fluffy muzzle. Oh, almost cut his tongue. <laughs> Silly dog. We will continue with the head later when he is fully dry. Um, right now, I can't do much about it. We need to wait for the hair to settle. <laughs> So if you decide to try, you need to get good clippers. I use Andy's brand. Never tried any other brand as I am happy with this one. You will also need several blades to use. The absolute minimum I think for Lagota Romagnola will be number 7, number 10 and number 30. Clippers usually come with number 10 blade and the others you can get separately. Blades can be stainless steel and ceramic. Both types are great. Stainless steel you can sharpen in specialized shops. Ceramic blades cannot be sharpened. 
If you use clippers on a clean coat, the blades will stay sharp for a long time. Dirty coat with sand in it will dull the blades faster. So here I'm cutting hair between the toes. This place is common for mats formation. Although mango never mats, um, I also cut this hair out because between the toes, um, the hair remains moist all the time, given that my dogs are constantly in the water and some discoloration happened. There is a video, both videos of mine actually, um, Grooming Lagota is fun and the other one, Easy Comba Groom. They have close up um, um, uh, cutting um, hair from between the toes. This video is more intended for comfort level. You can see the dog, how comfortable it is. Um, I saw a few comments in the Lagoda Grooming is Fun that I am rough with the dogs and dogs are terrified of me. Um, well, <laughs> what can I say? Either these people don't have dogs or they don't know how to read dog language. Um, it is quite sad, although those videos are on high speed and perhaps um, there could be impression like that although i could not see it so in this video um, it's a normal speed i clipped something that was um, um, uh, not a good quality um, and you couldn't see the blurred uh, images but the rest of it i just left and i left it at the regular speed so you can actually see what's happening and how the dogs behave <laughs> um, he looked very terrified. So I am going to let him go to get dried up and I'll see him when he is fully dry. And here he is. We're gonna show you the clean coat now. You remember the dirty coat and now is clean it's very bouncy and it goes right back when you um, spread it around very fluffy very very soft so now um, you see the brush goes through um, the comb I should say super thick if you're thinking about cheap uh, clippers um, forget about it um, if that would work on puppy, that will not work on adult Lagotto, especially, well, uh, adults have different code, but most Lagotti have super um, thick code. So what you do, find the bone um, at the base of the skull and start cutting right underneath it. So the way a clippers go, you sort of scoop the hair. Um, and we start usually at the base of the skull. Leave yourself room um, between the bone and the neck so you can um, blend it in. Now you see I took fold of his skin and I pulled it to make the skin taut. This is the way clippers used. Um, the skin should be taut. He's keep bending his... Um, head down so I have to pull the skin a little bit and he's um, turning the way I'm clipping so his skin is folding that's why I need to make the skin taut and pull it sometimes at some places I am shaving him this time with the hair grows it's not super hot outside yet but during the summer i would usually clip against the hair grows with number seven blade this is number seven blade i am shaving i rarely shave with number four number four would be the longest blade i would shave lagota and even that um, sometimes i have trouble shaving even after the dog washed and stuff and super fluffy because the coat is very very thick so our goal here is to shave his whole body and 
legs and head will be scissored later so you see i go gently and scooping um, the hair off uh, the body and here again you start under the um, ear and um, right um, underneath the ear and go scoop 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 sometimes if you want to have even hair um, even length of the hair I should say you would have to go again over the areas you already shaved and sometimes you would have to do it several times I don't do it um, I see no reason for that I just shave unless there is some stickies left obvious stickies but I don't need it exactly um, same length everywhere as I already mentioned Laguta coat curls up and you can hardly see Mango been very patient with me also you see I don't use any um, um, restrictions on the table dogs stand willingly uh, without any um, noose on the neck it's the matter of training and patience with the dog I have a video about how to make your dog like grooming with some tips um, in it if you interested you might watch that video to see how you can change your dog's mind about grooming but in general all my dogs are pretty good this is just very unusual for Mingo um, to be standing as he is used to being laying down um, we usually treat it like a spa day not uh, a working day so yeah scoop 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 with the um, uh, with the clipper everywhere whole body and you will see I will make a um, stop um, just below the side line You see how I lift his ear and I shave it right where the ear lays down all the way. Um, it's a sort of part of the head uh, that's shaved but that part is not seen as the ear lies down on that area the reason I do it is to promote better circul air circulation to the ear with um, lots of hair um, the air is not flowing inside and um, it's just um, a recipe for ear infections if you have uh, wet ears all the time You see the difference of his coat when it's shaved he is much lighter I don't know if you know but he is Ron he is the puppy that was born brown and white and with time um, he changed his uh, color and um, become this sort of a uh, gray dog but Laguri find it this way um, and they are changing colors every time you shave them they have um, different color of them the brown dogs will lighten up with age and sometimes when you shave them sometimes they brown sometimes they gray um, sometimes they darker sometimes they lighter but usually they lighten up with age
so you see the um, hair on her abdomen is not as curly and thinner um, so I go sideways to um, clip it same with seven blade um, sometimes under pits I would use um, number 10 but um, he doesn't need that so I go with number seven blade and I go sort of sideways and we will blend the legs much later I hope you're feeling better and see how easy it is to shave the dog body. Also, if you are unsure about your scissor techniques, you can um, actually clip the whole dog legs, including with the clippers. There is nothing wrong with that. Tail, I would clip against the hair growth. Um, it will not be noticeable, but it's just easier to do. Um, just easier to do. Just careful with the tip of the tail. You need to hold um, between your fingers uh, the actual tail, and so you don't cut it. The reason I don't clip um, legs and head because I want to keep Lagota shape. Though Lagota breed standard calls for um, longer coat, the still the uh, scissored legs and head sort of uh, gives a shape of a Lagota. This is the only reason I do it. Otherwise, it would be much more practical for me to shape the legs and head less um, dirt in the house this way almost forgot to remind you if you never clipped the dog before and never used clippers you might not know but the blades get heat up so especially the shorter blades like number 30 you need to touch the blade with your hand and see if it's hot and then you will need to change it usually number seven blade if you shave the adult dog um, with the hair grows and uh, do it fast it does not heat up as fast but the shorter blades would also the the blades will heat up super fast if um, they not oiled so you need to see if they moving um, well enough on the blade like um, there's two parts on the blade and one part uh, should move against each other they should slide pretty easy if they are not then they need to be oiled So now we're gonna move on towards the blending of the legs. Um, some parts of me scissoring the legs uh, were not um, on this video. Um, I scissored a little bit of his legs when he was still wet, but um, I did not blend it because we were going to <clears throat> shave the dog so you can see the the middle part is pretty hairy and nothing on the paws that is um, um not the original paws i did um uh scissor them but um they didn't um end up in the video so you see i used this uh comb and i fluffed it up and now i just blend the paws with the size <laughs> and uh, it will be it because the hair is so curly i constantly have to pull it out with my fingers even with the comb if i use the comb it um, curls right back in 
the only way to straighten up is um, if you dry up the dog completely um, using the force blower this would be the only way um, you will avoid those curls sometimes even that is not um, helping but uh, mango has very curly coat and I have to um, use my fingers to pull any um, anything I think is um, longer than the other hair but in reality um, with Lagota it's so easy to scissor them because they are curly and anything it just curls back in and no one will notice that um, you didn't cut them right as you see i'm cutting his legs pretty short the hair on the legs pretty short because I don't like um, unbalanced dogs. Um, I see some Lagoda have super extra long hair on the legs and they are super fluffy and fun to watch at, but are very unpractical. And also the dog becomes unbalanced when the hair on the body is super short and then he or she has this fluffy legs and fluffy head. Um, I think there should be a balance. Even though I like um, uh, fluffier legs and head, I uh, try to balance the dog um, so it looks um, better. I apologize for the length of the video. I am not a groomer. I am super slow. I'm just a regular dog owner uh, that learned to groom my dogs uh, myself. And I am sharing the tips of how to do it. And if you want shorter version, there is two other videos already for you to watch. Um, Lagota, grooming Lagota is fun, is uh, um, using scissors only and Lagota Easy Combo Lagota Groom is a um, combination. It's very similar to this groom, but just the dog is laying down and we're doing backwards. We are shaving first and then having a bath.
and everybody's favorite part is the head again it sounds more difficult and terrifying than it really is um, so remember we opened up his eyes in the beginning and now we're gonna finish scissoring the head all I do is go over the head in sort of in a circle uh, motion I go forward and then um, I cut the ears in a way that they form um, globe I should say a sort of round head not be shown around head but sort of a diamond um, shaped head and um, just just go by feel don't be afraid of it um, the, the reason um, sometimes Lagoda looks weird because the hair um, cut around the eyes and um, the other hair left alone that's why it's such a, a natural shape some Lagoti become um, very strange looking but um, feather and cut in layers and cut in the shape of the head and you will be fine it's not that difficult just need to practice and remember if you don't do it right you will do it right next time because um, it makes it better with practice and um, the hair grows um, you will have funny looking lagota for a bit but not funnier i can assure you than coming out from the grooming salon is just gonna continue the shape of the head sort of um, not sticking out but um, uh, become a whole a part of the head and um, stay together with the head and not a separate ear groom So there are two ways to shape the shape of the ear is to use scissors and go around and shape the ear or you can use a blade number 30 just like I do and shape the hair. The, um, you have to be careful you see how the ear lays down flat on my finger and the clipper go right down never put a clipper perpendicular to the ear edge always uh, you have to go um, parallel uh, to the ear um, and that is um, 
also uh, true for any folds don't put um, a blade perpendicular to fold always parallel and try not to have any folds around clippers this is just a recipe for nipping the skin Thank you for choosing to watch this video. I hope it was helpful and easy to understand the principles of using clippers. All the best to you and your fur friends. I hope you both are going to have a lot of fun learning to groom. See you next time.